Are you looking for the next beer to try? Well, maybe CBS 2018 from Founders Brewing is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So today we are gonna try Founder CBS. This is the 2018 version. I pretty much stayed on, off Facebook, off YouTube, all that, just until I tasted this, so I didn't get anybody else's opinions in my head. I did see that No Hype put his out, so I will go check that one out after I'm done. Again, this is the 2018 version, and I did pick up two of them. This year, it seems like there's more distribution of this than last year. Obviously, it's, uh, I think, 2017 was the first year in like five years that they put this out, but now it seems like they're gonna do it almost every year. I could be wrong, but I think that's what I read. So this year's batch is 11.6% ABV. I don't know if it shows the IBUs. It does say 45 IBUs. Now, I do have a 2017 bottle. Uh, just and I was just looking over them before I started this just to see if there was anything to tell them a different because I thought I did I thought there was a date on the bottom but I don't yeah uh, bottle 10 one eighteen but I started looking at the bottles and obviously the 2018 version is a different ABV that is 11.6 and the 2017 is 11.7 uh, and I don't think, yeah, this one did not have a date on it at all. Oh, okay, it does say 2017 release. The other funny thing is, and I don't know if they were doing this or if the labels are different on some of the bottles. I will check that out. But the 2017 does have a guy riding the horse. The 2018 version looks like he got bucked off because there's no guy and the horse is standing on his back feet. So... That's uh, kind of interesting how they did that. And again, I don't know if some of them do have different labels or what, but I did buy two bottles of the 2017 or 2018 version, so I'll let that go. So if you don't know, this is a uh, imperial stout brewed with chocolate, coffee, and aged in maple bourbon barrels. So let's go ahead and crack this open. I am gonna use a smaller glass, my odd side glass for this one. This one's probably been out of the fridge 15 minutes or so. So it's warmed up a tiny bit, but not that much. I think last year I drank it a little bit warmer. I did like that, but the 2017 version I thought was way too young at the time of drinking. So let's go ahead and get this in there. Um, I did pick this up at H&B Market in Portage, Michigan. They had them for $23.99 a bottle. I think they got in three cases. Uh, the weird part, and why I said at the beginning, I think more of this went out was, I think I, I saw on Facebook that like Costco had eight cases of it or something like that, and they were selling it for $19.99 uh, for a 750 milliliter bottle. But yeah, so $23.99, I also picked up an extra four pack of Bourbon Barrel Age Expedition Stout by Bells. But if we look at this head, it is chocolate, frothy, about a finger of head. Bubbles are half and half. I do have big ones in between very small ones. It's black. I do not have a hue at all on this. Can't see through it, but that's what you should expect in a beer like this. Let's go ahead and get a smell, see what we get. Very toned down. A little bit of that, it's almost like a vanilla bourbon sweetness coming out. Roasted malt in there with a little bit of chocolate. If I remember correctly, nothing like I smelt last year. I think last year it was big, like barrel and alcohol. But yeah, this is almost like a toned down vanilla barrel with some sweetness with that roasted malt and chocolate. 
and coffee. Yeah, real good taste. Let's go ahead and see what we, or smell. Let's go ahead and see what we think about it. Very smooth, very thick, roasted malt and coffee. Lots of coffee. Aftertaste right now is like a chocolate coffee with a tiny bit of alcohol uh, in the aftertaste. Yeah, to me, this is totally different than last year's. I do get a little bit of oak but not very much. Like that roasted malt big coffee is a lot of this taste. Yeah, yeah, roasted malt coffee, big coffee through this one. In the back, it, it is like a sweet chocolate alcohol kind of a tiny bit of alcohol going down then yeah aftertaste as your mouth warms up that coffee and chocolate really come through my throat is burning a tiny bit I'm really not getting much barrel you can tell that it's there and obviously I know it's there because it's CBS but it's not big like it was last year Very thick body, but that's what you should have in this kind of a beer. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Um, I, I think I would have to go with a 4.75 out of 5. I think I would want, I, I need some more maple. I like how the age of this, like it tastes like it's aged, unlike last year's where it tasted very, very young. But I, I get some of that sweetness, but I think I want a little bit more maple to come out in this. Yeah. And I have to be kind of picky on this for $23.99 for a bottle of it. I think it should be outstanding, like world class. But yeah, I, I want a little bit more maple in this and a little bit more oak. Yeah, definitely a good one though. Definitely one to pick up. Do I think it's worth um, the twenty three ninety nine? Uh, I do, as long as you're drinking it with other people. Like now that this is open, I'm gonna have to drink this pretty much all because capping it, it's really not gonna do anything. Um, so if you've got a group of friends that are into beers like this, picking one up and drinking it on a cold day. Yeah, this, this would be perfect. Sitting around watching football. So if we look on Untapped, 10 of my friends have had this average 4.68 out of 5. Almost 5,500 people have rated this average 4.53. Uh, one guy says even better than 2017. Uh, legit dark chocolate. I don't get a lot of bitterness. I do get a touch, but not not a lot of bitterness in this beer. Uh, Tyler gave it a 4.5. Boozy, but he did have that I, at Founders, I believe. So it could be a little bit different off the tap. I was seeing if Mike actually rated this, and I don't see it. So yeah, uh, good beer, definitely one, like I said, to pick up if you're going to share it with friends. If you can pick up more than one, you can age it. I do know, like last year when I got the second one, I did start seeing um, posts saying don't age it because of all the adjuncts and stuff in there. It's not going to last, but I do every year anyway. So I, I wouldn't be scared of that. You could try it after a year. But yeah, definitely a good year for CBS. So thank you for joining me. Hit that thumbs up if you like this. Thumbs down if you don't. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and thumbs up and check out some of our other videos.